where we are going to configure port mirroring. So if you want to run a Wireshark, you want to do some sniffing on your traffic, you're going to mirror the port. There are other ways, but this is typically how you do it. And there are some monitoring and management tools that mirror ports as well. Um, so anyway, let's get logged into our switch. So password is username and password are Cisco Cisco. Hopefully you don't actually use that on your real live stuff. Okay, and now we need to set up port mirroring. So we first thing we need to do is get this port into the VLAN. So I'm going to go into VLAN management and we're going to go to interface settings and we're making a change to interface GE26. I'm going to click on that and choose edit. And then right here, the administrative PVID. So your, your primary VLAN ID, that's what that stands for, should be, is going to be one for this lab. Again, I wouldn't use VLAN one for stuff, but we're here. So, okay, hit apply there. And now you can see this is set to VLAN one. Now we're going to set up some mirroring. So the place we need to do that is, I think it's back here on the get, getting started. You can find it other places too, but getting started makes it easier. Right here under quick access, we're going to do configure port mirroring. Okay, and we're going to add. And first we want our destination port. So this is where your Wireshark is set up or whatever device you're mirroring to the place that you're sniffing from. So that is this GE26. So that's the destination for all the mirrored port stuff. And now our source, the port that we're going to mirror is GE28. So I'm gonna change that to GE28. So now everything that hits GE28 is going to go to GE26 and you can see we can choose different types. You could do transmit and receive, transmit only, receive only. In this case, we want to do receive traffic. So we're gonna leave RX. So only the stuff coming in to 28. We don't care about the stuff going out of 28. So I'm gonna hit apply, close that, and then we need to save it to our startup config. Assuming you wanna save it there, but in this case we do. So we're gonna hit apply. And now it will copy from our running config to our startup config, and we should be good to go. And we are.